you'll be able to submit it to the building department. So, you can screw this right into here after it dries, okay? I'm gonna put that in right there, right now, okay? Here's one method. I can put those in, they're available at Home Depot. I can put those in every 12 inches, eight inches, 24 inches, and we can screw through our two by six right into those, okay? That is one method. Another method is that we can let this dry. I can drill my two by six, and I can use screws with that anchors and drill directly into this. That's another way. It's up to your structural engineer to figure out what works for him, but there's five answers to everything, okay? If they look at this and they say, it's not strong enough, we want something stronger, not a problem. Okay, you make it as strong as you want it to be. Okay, we can do like this. Okay, drill directly through the two by six into this piece. Uh, you can put this plate as often as you want and this isn't gonna come up. So it's really, uh, I mean, th these are structural engineering questions. We don't do your structural engineering for you. We are not structural engineers. These homes are being built around the world. The only thing holding up America right now basically is some of the bureaucracy and people trying to understand a new concept. Uh, it's not much different than when uh, metal studs came out. Not too long ago, uh, all homes were done out of wood frame. They were all wood frame, okay? They come up with metal stud, Somebody from the building department walks out there, they're looking at this and they see these flimsy, stupid metal studs. Somebody, go, a guy walking upstairs with uh, 25 of these on his shoulder and they're like, not on my watch, no damn way. Okay, as it turns out, he was wrong. Okay, uh, as it turns out, metal studs build a stronger structure. Uh, they're not susceptible to, as, a, as susceptible to fire. They're not, uh, you know, susceptible to, to warping. Um, this. It's a lot better system, but in the beginning there were those were like, not on my watch type of deal. Those are the idiots that everybody forgets. Okay, What we have is a new technology that is being used all over the world. And the only reason we're not using it rampantly here in America is because people don't want to get out of their box and understand. Most engineers are comfortable with concretes from 3,000 to 5,000 PSI. Because that's all they ever deal with. Not knowing that there are concretes that are 30 and 50,000 PSI with tensile and structural strength. There's hundreds of additives. The answers are there, okay? But they're gonna have to take a moment and figure some things out. And the guys that do are gonna be rock stars. Everyone's gonna know their name. Uh, because they will bring this technology to their state and they'll be recognized as having brought it to their state. So, let's talk about a couple different solutions. We talked about the top plate. Tying this wall into the foundation is simple. You got a, a J bar or an S bar. We print the bottom 12 inches solid. That ties it into the bar coming up out of the footing. Our printer prints the footing we print the forms for the footing. We do the back filling for the footing. Come on, printer, get out of my way. We also print the forms for the slab. Okay, there is no more labor for printing slabs. There's no labor for creating forms for footings. We do that, this does that. Give us six months, we'll be doing your flat work for you. Okay, we're gonna take and put a skip trowel 
to RC access right here, and it will literally distribute your mud within the forms. It's gonna finish it. Last thing you gotta do is jump on there with a Fresno, maybe, okay? Certainly not with a bull flow, but give it its last little bit of, of uh, finishing. So, incidentally, this is an eight foot wall, which most people cannot show you that they have printed all in one pass, uh, but we have. So, if you're running plumbing and different things, just go to Home Depot, look for some different ideas and solutions, okay? If I want to put that there, so that I can run plumbing in it. There you go. Uh, you don't like that scenario? You want something different? Okay, how about that? Okay. Now these would be cut off. Okay. Same type of deal. Your copper, your poly. Um, it's up. I'm showing you a multiple group of ideas here. Okay? I mean, decide what you like. Engineer, do your job. Open a book. Look at some calcs. Look at the math. Figure this out. There's a solution. Okay? So, you always got the people that are looking for every reason why something won't work. That's not who you want. What you want are people that are saying, this is a technology that's needed. The reality is, you've got uh, housing authority, the mayor, the governor, senator, uh, Habitat for Humanity. They have a huge problem, affordable housing. This is a solution for affordable housing. We say it's 70% of the cost. That is not smoke and mirrors. That's not hocus pocus. That is a real number. Come down here and we'll show you. We'll go over all the math together. It is real. But all of these politicians, even if they stood on a soapbox and said, oh, elect me, elect me. I'm going to solve affordable housing. They're full of crap. They cannot solve affordable housing. And the reason they can is I can't force a contractor to sell below market. I can't force Home Depot to sell two by fours for less than what they want to sell them for. So in effect, what can they actually do? And the truth is, not a damn thing, okay? But our printers, our printers make affordable housing challenging. It's an epidemic problem. So if you're a contractor and you think you're gonna buy a printer and go walk a set of plans for a concrete home through the front door and stand at the counter, wrong, wrong approach. What you want to do is speak to the president of Habitat for Humanity because he is struggling with this challenge every single day. But you go meet with him, have him call the president of Habitat down here who's introduced new technology, <laughs> who has already introduced new technology from Germany and other parts of the world that officials even in Utah are like, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, uh, he's had to prove it, it works, and that's why he has one of the most efficient homes in the world right now. Um, they vetted us seven ways to Sunday. They've been down here with lead engineers and architects and builders and developers, housing authorities, mayors, everybody. And they've come down here to see if this is real, if the numbers are real. A half a set of cubic inch, that's what it costs to print. On our website, you'll see the calculators we have on site. Take your blueprint, put in the linear footage, put in the height, put in your cast height, how wide you want to print, put in all the numbers. It's going to tell you exactly what it costs to print your home. Okay, so in any case, uh, what you want to do is make life easy for yourself. Call Habitat for Humanity, president of your state. Show them what can be done. Show them how much they can save. Show them what's real. Don't try to explain it. They're not going to believe anything you say. Have them contact the president of Habitat for, P for Humanity in Utah and let them speak. Because they've done all the heavy lifting, they've done all the work, they've done all the math, they've been given 50 lots by the state to develop uh, low-income housing right here in our backyard. And they're using our printer. We're the only ones in the world right now that are actually selling a printer. That might sound 
difficult to believe, but considering nobody even has a phone number on their website, and nobody will return an email within a week or two of being sent to them, and this is when you got a quarter million dollars in your pocket or a half million dollars for a printer, okay? They are not ready. We are. We've been selling for over a year. Seeing is believing. Come on down here, take a look, see what we're doing. Let's print a wall together. Let's run some electrical. Uh, let's walk you through the construction processes. Uh, do some plumbing, all this type of stuff. What you're gonna find is that what we have is real, the numbers are real, and you can start doing it right now. You can do it as a franchisee with exclusive distribution rights for your state. I mean, think of it. A tool that allows you to produce what the competition is at a third the cost. Uh, and you don't have to be less expensive uh, to get all the work because even if it wasn't faster, even if it wasn't cheaper, our printer enables you to do designs that nobody has been able to ever do before. Okay? You, it just can't be done. You can do 40 inch radius uh, corners. <laughs> this is crazy. You can do oval walls spiral pilasters, stuff that no one has seen before. You can do it, it can be done right now. So guys, success favors the bull. Uh, come down, vet this, take a look at it, and you're gonna see that it's all real, and this is the goose. I mean, this is the golden egg. Nothing like this have you ever seen before. Nothing's come along that will change construction as much as this does. And the only way you're gonna know it is to get on the phone, start trying to call others, trying to figure out, you know, do they have phone numbers? Will they return emails? Is there anybody else selling this stuff? Uh, you're gonna find out that the answer is no. Uh, but we're here, and we're right now, and uh, we've been through all of this stuff. We did World of Concrete, we won Best to Show. Uh, we do vet everybody stringently, okay? If you look at other companies, you'll see they can't print an eight foot wall in one pass. They're doing it in sections. Their walls look like crap. There's no consistency to them. It's because they don't have the math, the mixing system, the pump system to be able to do it. This is actually a lot harder than printing a full house because the math has to be right. If we try and print faster than what this is curing, it falls over. Uh, and we have learned what we have learned because we have failed and failed and failed and failed and failed. So we are successful at doing this. We are successful because we developed it. And we've done the R&D. We've done the two years developing this. Uh, a printer is easy to build. That's not where the expense is. That's not what you're paying for. What you're paying for is being able to print something that doesn't fall over. And while others are trying to catch up, uh, they're trying to take the easy route. They're trying to figure it out by just copying what we've done. And that's why we vet everybody so stringently. NDAs, non-competes, who are you? Do you have a business license? Do you have a contractor's license? Do you understand the industry? Do you understand the building? Uh, you know, we have the whole world that's been watching this for three years. They're trying to figure out. They've been watching concrete printing. They're fascinated by it. They see it, they understand it. They know it's gonna make a huge difference. Nobody to talk to. And unfortunately, and fortunately, it's fallen to us to educate the whole world. So, while we do this all day, at six, seven o'clock at night, we start doing the exact same thing for the rest of the world. Answering their questions, explaining everything. Every, every phone call we have is an hour to two hours. There's huge opportunities internationally uh, for international partners. Uh, we're going to ask you what you can sell. We're going to have you bid against other people in your country. How many can you sell this year, next year, third year? Uh, and let's get you going. Let's get you going right now with a product that can print homes right now. And not just homes. There's so many other products. I mean, monument letters, walls, barbecues, waterfalls, sewer, uh, water retention, uh, uh, retention block. Uh, that costs a lot of money. You can do it all with this, and you do it at the push of a button. You push, you push a button, and it prints. And you do it without any kind of forming whatsoever. So, 
guys. Uh, we put a few videos up there. Hopefully this one answers some questions. But uh, seeing is believing. Come down and see what we're doing. Uh, it's about a two to three week wait. So give us a call. Uh, fill out the documents. Fill out the forms. Let us know who you are so that we can spend some time with you. Uh, I can tell you that if you don't have a structural engineer on staff and ready to come with you, if you don't have a contractor's license or a contractor coming with you, we're not as interested in meeting with you because you're just not going to be able to make sense of all the information we give you. Uh, you need somebody that's sitting across the table that can say, what he just said is correct. What he just said will work. And he's right. Uh, if you can't make sense of the data, you'll never feel comfortable uh, spending a couple hundred thousand to a half million dollars. And so, Get your people together. We have some middles that are required. Uh, if you're gonna come here before we'll even set a, an appointment with you, you need to know what does it cost per square foot for your your footings? What do you, or excuse me, your, your flat work? How much does it cost for your footings? How much does it cost for drywall, taping, framing, layout, insulation? Because unless you have that information, when I tell you I can print your walls stuccoed and drywalled on both sides at eight foot, in 24 hours for $11 a square foot, it's going to mean nothing to you. In, in, in which case, we're less interested in speaking to you. But those who are in a place to run, they have the financing, they're ready to go, they run a company, they know how to answer you know, calls, they, they have their customer service figured out, those are the people that we want to be spending our time with. And it's, it's not being cocky, it's just that we have so many people trying to understand this. Building departments, universities, students, contractors, developers, uh, architects, engineers. We need to pick carefully who we choose to spend most of our time with. And it's gonna be those who are ready to go. So, uh, we really look forward to talking to you. Hope you enjoyed this video and come see us. Thank you.